In this video, I'm going to share with you a very useful formula using which you can easily calculate the total business working hours excluding weekend and non-business hours. Consider we have this data table on which we have the start date time and end date time for an issue. On the first example, issue has been arised 1st August 9.25 am and on the same date they resolved on 9.46 am. In this case, the total working hour is 20 minutes only. On the next example, issue has been arised 1st August 10.16 am while resolved on Wednesday 10.27 am. So in this case, the gap is one day, but the total working hour is 9 hours 10 minutes because we are excluding any hours after the business working hours. In the fourth example, issue has been arised Friday 12.35 p.m. while resolved on Monday at 10 a.m. In this case, our total working hour is 4 hours 35 minutes. We are excluding Saturday, Sunday as well as outside our business working hour. Now I will explain the parameter of this formula and how you need to use this formula on your own sheet. In this formula, the only thing is start date time and the end date time. You need to change those reference when you are using this formula on your sheet. And of course, if you want to change the start date time and end date time, you can change those as well. And for the weekend code, you need to use this table. Currently, my weekend is Saturday, Sunday, so I will use one code. In many Middle East countries, they have Friday, Saturday as weekend, so they need to use the seven weekend code here. If I copy all of this formula and go to Calculating Employee Hours Worksheet and double click and Control V to paste this formula, the only thing I need to change the start date time and the end date time. Currently they are on D2 so instead of P2 I will reference D2 and instead of end time C2 I will reference E2. For now assume business start time and end time is the same as well as the weekend code. I will just hit enter and it will calculate me the total working hour. I will just need to drag this formula and this will calculate me total working hours for all of the data set. Now the next thing is how we can calculate the total working hours in fraction. So for that you need to multiply this number with the 24 and once you multiply with 24 you will get a new figure but you don't need to worry about you just need to click and just go to general format and it will calculate you the total working hours in fraction. And you just need to drag this formula down and it will calculate you all of the hours in fraction. Now, of course, if you have, let's say, the hourly rate of employee, for example, 10, 20. Let's assume just 20 is the same. You just need to multiply 10 with this total work hour and it will give you all of the figure, let's say, in currency the total work hour amount. So this is how you need to use this formula on your own sheet. Not only this formula you can use in Excel, but you can use this formula on Google Sheet as well. If I just remove the 24 for now and copy this whole formula, go to the Google Sheet, I will just need to do the same step. Double click, Control V to paste the formula. The only changes I need to change the reference. For now, I will change the D2 to P2 again and the end date time is C2. I will hit enter and it will calculate me all of the result. Of course, if you want to calculate the total working hour, you just need to multiply this figure with the 24 and this will give you the total working hour, but you need to change the format to number format and it will give you the total working hours in fraction. So this is how you need to use this formula in Excel and Google Sheet. Now I'm going to explain the step by step detail. First, let's assume I just want to calculate the total working day between the two date times. So I will use network days that international function and I just specify the one as a parameter because my weekend is Saturday, Sunday. 
on the step two, I did the same, but I subtract one because I want to avoid the partial day count and I just subtract one. Multiply those figures with the end time and start time of my business hour. On the step three, in this step, I just want to get the, the end day time which are in between my time. So my business hour 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And I want to get the value. If my value is outside these hours, I don't want to count those value. For example, if I just go and change this value to, let's say instead of a.m., I'm just going to p.m. So 9 p.m. is outside my business hour. So this will not count the 9 p.m. This will only get me the result up to 5 p.m. If I even just, let me just change this to a.m. again and I just change this 9 to 7. You can see this will get me the 8 a.m. Because this is 7.46 is outside my business hour and that's why we are not getting 7. We will get the 8 a.m. So this is how using mode function, simply I get the time from the date time. If I just use the mode here, just to tell you the mode and I will just specify one. It will get me the time from the date time if I just format this with the time. So you can see how we can get the time from the date time using mode function. Okay, for now, let me just change back to the same value. On the step four, I did the same calculation, but I did four submit that mean for the start date i use the mode function and then i use again the median function here to get the time in between my working time on the step five i just use the final formula d2 which is the step one result which is the full count of hours for a full day plus e2 which is the step for resolve date for the end date time minus start time and this will give me the result hour, minutes, and day format. And if you want to convert this to fraction hour, you just need to multiply the result with 24. This is all about how we can develop this complex formula. I hope you like this full video. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel, like the video so that I can share more video with you. Thank you so much.